Well, hello, my beautiful friends, and welcome to Vlogmas 2022. Thank you for clicking on today's video. Today, I'll be sharing my early finale to Pan Me A Story Watson. I have stated that I am closing out projects that I am not really um, using the products. Not because I don't like this project. I actually bought the entire book set that I want to read, but I just, I did participate in too many projects. I did put a lot of eyeshadows into too many projects, so I don't want to make up every single day. So I'm ending a few of these, and if they come back next year, I'm going to see how, you know, my life will be changing. I will be more in makeup more often. I will be going to school. I am a licensed esthetician, so I would still wear my masks. So if so, I would put a little bit of mascara, brows, and a little bit of eyeshadow, but just because my face was so covered, because I am up close and personal in your face and with COVID and everything, and then just just hygienic in what you know just hygienic wise um i would still wear my mask because i'm either doing lashes facials body waxing you know so i would still wear my mask um covid is still a thing here um i would get a lot of cancellations due to being sick so i had to protect myself as well as my family so with my job there's not a lot i can't wear a lot of makeup all the time um, it was only really on the weekends and then if I filmed once a week so that was like three times a week three times four 12 as many projects as I was in it didn't quite fit so um, I love Deborah she is so sweet I love watching her channel Deborah is a creator um, I will leave her links down below also this ran from May 22nd 2022 to May 22nd 2023 so there's also all these other lovely ladies who are still participating in this project so if you want to follow along follow the hashtag pan me a story watson it is a fantastic ladies club everything will be linked down below the fantastic ladies deborah my short little playlist i think i only updated this once and it was in may and i'm doing my finale in june so i have my intro one update and my finale in Seven months that's not very good my friends and the progress isn't that good but I did get uses on my palette but if you are new here hi hello my name is Eric Ashley I normally upload three videos every week all the way the month of December you'll be seeing a video every single day for vlogmas I like to talk about old makeup new makeup shopping habits shopping hauls shopping my own stash unboxing I did get my first piece of PR that I'll be filming very soon so if all that interests you, I'd love for you to hit that thumbs up, subscribe before you go, and turn on the notification bell so we're always each upload. Also, follow me on Instagram where you can get more of the day-to-day -day shenanigans that are happening in my life. But let's go ahead and get into this finale. <laughs> this look it should have been up yesterday first day of december trying my cold girl makeup so um yeah let's go ahead and deborah took her time and creating these uh stories these prompts she put so much effort into it i had to join um i never saw any of the movies but i did buy the whole book set from amazon and I haven't yet started reading it, but I am reading Stephen King at the moment. So, we'll go back and forth. But I drew the ad and she tells you the whole story. And I can listen to her all day long. So, Deborah, do story times. <laughs> anyway, um, the, the first number that I drew was 33. The Adventure of Black Peter Forrest Rowe. And it's something that requires skill to use. And I picked the Epic Ink liner I don't use liner so for me requires skill some people can do it with their eyes closed or one eye closed I can't I can't do it so I told I had a 22 use goal I only used this puppy five times since May hence why I am ending this project early I'll be doing different projects like project 10 uses project 100 uses palette rotation come in the future but I'm hanging on to a few projects, but a few projects that I neglected, I need to close out because there's no use in having them still open, 
still in my planner. I'm gonna log my uses goals and then I'll get to the product soon. So only five uses on this guy, not very good. Next, I drew 21, The Adventures of Musgrave Ritual. Something that you use out of habit regardless of the reason. Well, I'm a primer girl. I live off primer. So I wanted to do, it was May, so I was like, you know, glowy. I wanted to put in the Honey Do Me Up. This was the intro, the second update, and this is the finale. And I put 22 uses. I used it nine times, so not quite halfway, but better than that ink liner. So um, I want to use this up next year because it is a little bit older. It was supposed to be the dupe for the Forsali. Something about the Forsali and that was all the rage. But, you know, this is getting older, so I need to pan that next year. Next is the 58, The Adventures of the Vilded, Vild Lodger. I can't read my writing. A loud product. Well, I picked this loud ass lip liner. Um, this is from a makeup brand, a beauty store. But look at that bright ass pink. It's beautiful. I only reached for this once. I did mark it, but I recycled the little the little card that I put it on because you're not gonna see much progress on one use. Since May 22nd, today is I'm sorry, today is December 19th. Um it's raining here in San Antonio, Texas. It's pretty misty outside, so my allergies always act up when it rains. So today is December 19th. I put this in May 22nd and I've only used this once. Not good, my friends. That goal was 13 uses. Next, I drew in number 10, The Adventures of the Blue Carbuncle, a gemstone item. And I specifically remember that story because I thought it was just so cool. So I put in my ColourPop So Jaded. I did no pan left behind. And if by chance I do that next year, I'll, it'll be no pan left behind. This year I was doing 13 uses, 15 uses. You know, that's way too many for the little times that I do wear makeup. So, um, I, this wasn't, it was not brand new, but it looked a little bit more loved. And then this is what I used. So, 30 shadows. I used 13. Not the best. But I have been using it more because I've been wrapping up a lot of projects. It's beautiful. Um, I've seen people depot it and then fix it. It, like, green, 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 green. Put all the greens in one damn row. Like, why is it so spread out? Not that it's a problem, you know what I mean? But for a little more ease, it's kind of like, oh, what do I want to do? But, like, this one, this one, these, in my head, they should be together these letter tones, put them on the first row. That way I can pick and choose. This is just scrambled up and I get it, it's a gemstone. Um, so I will not be fixing it, but I've seen people, if you have this, if you want to fix it, pop them out and you can put them wherever you want to. Me and my OCD, they're not gonna be matched up with the right names. So it's gonna drive me fucking bonkers. So I'm just gonna have to deal with it. <laughs> and that's gonna drive me bonkers, but I'd rather that drive me bonkers then not having them in the right spot just because my mind is fucked guys <laughs> anyway so i love this palette i'll be doing a color pop collection um and this is beautiful palette i use it a lot more um it's you know has all the gemstones you, you can use it all year round i created a beautiful look with the olive tones um this is a pressed glitter um all year round guys so if you have this, bust this baby out. I use it four times and I got 13 shadows out of the four times since May. That's not great progress. Um, Next, I did finish one thing in this project though, so that is good. It was a mini MAC Fix Plus and I finished that on 612. I already did that update. Next was um the Hounds of Baskerville. It is something spooky. Well, I'm the Halloween queen, so you know I have to have all the Hocus Pocus palettes. And I did no pen left behind. I only used this four times, but I still have one, two, three, four, five shadows to go. I just couldn't get around to doing it. Do it this way. So yeah, um, this is how I keep track. I can't remember. Did I hit this one? Because this wasn't a brand new palette, so, um, but it wasn't as loved on as it should have been. 
so I wouldn't have known what I've used throughout this so I have to I have to do this and I, I like it it helps remember and if I use it use it like this shadow if I use it twice I'll mark it for the one time and then I'll put a little line in there so I know I use it twice I don't think I did that for any of these no so yeah um beautiful palette I love hocus pocus I love all things spooky Four times, no particular reason why I didn't reach for this more, except that I did have a lot of eyeshadows into projects, and I sound like a broken fucking record. Last but not least was the Adventures of the Illustrious Client Sir James Damry, something royal. So, I picked a gold primer. I thought that I would be using this. I put 22 uses. I have not used this at all. I wanted to use this as a primer. Let's go ahead and see. My hands are ridiculously dry, so sorry for that. But yeah, I was like, okay, this will be my gold base. I can use it as a single, single shadow, blah, blah, blah. I did not use it. It is a little bit tanner, so I want to get this out of my collection. Next year, it's, I can see the windowing up to the light, but yeah, it's a little bit dark for me, but if I put it under my face in certain spots that I want to highlight, I can put foundation over it and I'll have that, that glow within look. But I didn't even use it. It's been in this drawer since my last update. I want to say maybe August. I'm not too sure. September, maybe August. I don't know. But um, yeah, that is it. And I did keep track of all the times that I did wear makeup. I will be doing that in 2023 as well one month I wear makeup seven times one month I wear makeup 12 times um so it's just you know I don't wear makeup as often as I should I don't really go nowhere and then for work if I had one client I'm like I have one client for today so I'm gonna put on a full beat and I don't put a full beat on and then put my mask on because I have acne prone skin I can break out I'm suffering from a breakout right now but I am just ending that time of the month, so that is why that breakout is there. So hopefully that is my quick little finale, ending this project early as my reasons, as you see my usage, and things will be definitely changing in 2023. I worry more makeup. I have been filming a lot more, so I'll be going to school, so I want to look presentable at school as much as I can. I don't want to go to school looking like shit, like I just rolled out of bed. That is not me, that is not my style. I'll go to work looking like I just rolled out of bed because they don't see my face. Their eyes are closed with the facial or I'm in their bikini area waxing or their eyes are closed while doing lashes. They don't see me only when they walk in and then when they leave to pay. That is the only time we kind of like, unless we're having like a consultation or something like that, sometimes an eye lip. So that's enough rambling. Um, I adore this project. I adore Deborah. Nothing against her or this project or the prompts. It's just me and my lifestyle and the way things were going in 2022. But hopefully 2023, I can get more love on my makeup. Like I said, I want to do Project 10 uses. And I will be filming um, my plans for my 2023 projects and channel and stuff like that. So stay tuned for that. Hit those notification bells and like and subscribe before you go. And I hope... This wasn't too boring, but if you are here to the end, leave that little face with the little glass eye. I don't know where it is. The monocle? Is it called a monocle? I don't know. Leave that little face. I'll leave the little emoji right here, and I will see you in tomorrow's video. I love you all. Tomorrow's video will be um, the 23rd, so it'll be 23 items that I want to use in 2023 for my project use up 23 makeup products in 2023 but that will be all be tomorrow's video i love you all and happy holidays bye guys i hope you're enjoying vlogmas